There's nothing wrong with spending a little money on your children from time to time, particularly when it comes to their birthdays and Christmas. But there's usually a limit to your generosity. Not for some parents, it would seem, as these extravagant toys take spoiling children to a whole new level. From the diamond-encrusted Hot Wheels car to the $8.5 million dollhouse, here are 15 most expensive toys in the world. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. That being said, let's begin. Number 15. $140,000 Hot Wheels Car Forget spending a few bucks on a Hot Wheels car for your darling son or daughter. Why not buy one that's more expensive than your family vehicle? Or for that matter, a good portion of your home. To commemorate the 40th anniversary and the production of the 4 billionth Hot Wheels vehicle, Mattel produced a diamond-encrusted, one-of-a-kind version. With an 18-carat white gold frame covered in 2,700 blue, black, and white diamonds and rubies for the brake lights, the car was unveiled at the 105th American International Toy Fair in New York in 2008. The custom jeweled 1 to 64 scale replica model was designed by celebrity jeweler Jason Arashabin, president and CEO of Jason of Beverly Hills, and was the most expensive Hot Wheels vehicle in history. The diamonds on the one-of-a-kind toy car weighed nearly 23 carats, and even the custom-made case that housed it had 40 individual white diamonds, representing each year of Hot Wheels production. Considered a collector's piece, not surprising given its value, the vehicle was unveiled by multi-platinum recording artist and car enthusiast Nick Lachey, who grew up playing with the die-cast car line. The vehicle was auctioned off for 140,000 US dollars with the benefactors Lachey's charity of choice, Big Brothers Big Sisters. Number 14. $8.5 million dollhouse castle. If you're looking for a gift idea that's certain to thrill and amaze its young recipient for at least a month longer than the usual throwaway gift, then this nine foot tall dollhouse could be worth considering. Priced at just $8.5 million, this over-the-top gift will have you scrambling for every credit card in your wallet, a second, third, and maybe a fourth job, plus a hefty personal loan. According to the New York Times, the Astolat Dollhouse Castle is considered amongst the most expensive toys in the world, with its cost rivaling that of most family homes. A little fancier than your stock standard dollhouse, the Astolat boasts an interior fit for royalty, with 29 rooms, including an armory and ballroom plus thousands of miniature pieces of furniture throughout. The castle is said to have taken over a decade to build and weighs in at a whopping 800 pounds. It might be an idea to anchor this miniature mansion to the wall for fear it'll crush its young owner. Created by renowned miniaturist Elaine Dale, the dollhouse design is based on the fictional one featured in English poet Alfred Lord Tennyson's poem, Lady of the Shallot. The upscale interior includes real parquet flooring, marble and gilt trim, several exact replicas of framed paintings, miniature books with writing inside, and a cocktail bar with real liquor. Number 13, Nintendo Wii Supreme, $485,000. Is your son or daughter a fan of the original Nintendo Wii? Are they always keen followers of the latest gadgets? Well, here is one they won't have asked for, guaranteed. The Nintendo Wii Supreme. It may not be the latest gaming device on the market, but it is one of the most expensive. Coated in a layer of gold and sprinkled with diamonds, this unique game console can be purchased for just 300,000 pounds or approximately 484,818 US dollars. Surely at that price, you could buy one for each child. 
Not likely. Six months of precise workmanship went into creating the Nintendo Wii Supreme. Considered the ultimate gaming station, the device was created by Stuart Hughes in 2009 and featured over 2,500 grams of solid 22 karat gold. Unlike its inexpensive predecessors, this flashy console has flawless diamonds adorning the buttons on the front. With just three of these limited edition Nintendos made, the lucky buyer would need to use their normal Wii remote to play the Supreme version. A little bit disappointing, really, given how much buying one is likely to set you back. We're also gonna assume that additional Wii games won't be thrown in for free. Number 12. Stefano Canturi Barbie. $302,500. A blonde bombshell with an enviable figure, the Barbie doll first hit toy stores in 1959. Back then, the doll cost just $3, and is now considered one of the most lucrative toys ever made. Barbie is also a collector's item, and not just the pristine vintage version, but the newer models too. Just imagine if the Barbie, long since forgotten in the back of your wardrobe, was worth a small fortune. One doll originally created to raise money for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, fits into this category. The toy's creator, Mattel, was known for occasionally launching a limited edition doll, collaborating with famous clothing and jewelry designers to ensure something truly special. One of these limited edition masterpieces was considered the most expensive Barbie ever sold. The stylish blonde wore a Stefano Canturi design necklace featuring emerald cut Australian pink diamonds surrounded by white diamonds. The necklace was an absolute showstopper and rival jewelry worn by most humans. It took six months to make the special edition doll that fetched a remarkable $302,500 US dollars at auction, the highest auctioned Barbie of all time. All proceeds were donated to breast cancer research. Number 11, Kammer and Reinhardt Lifelike Doll. $395,750. An extremely rare German Kammer and Reinhardt character doll was sold by Bonhams at an auction in Knightsbridge for a record $395,750 US dollars in September 2014. Its record-breaking sale price brought applause from the audience as the winning bid went through. Depicting a little girl with auburn hair woven into two plates and blue-gray eyes, the delightful doll was said to be one of a kind, having been created with an experimental mold. Wearing a lace-sleeved white dress, straw hat, bloomers, white cotton petticoat, stockings, and white shoes, the unique little doll also had pierced ears and an unusually mature expression, belying her apparent age. The doll was first sold at auction in 1994, and no other examples have been found. Ernst Kammer and Franz Reinhardt established the Kammer and Reinhardt Doll Factory in Germany in 1886, with their first creations made of wax. They soon moved on to Bisque dolls, however, did not have their own porcelain factory to manufacture them in, so had to contract out to the Simon & Halbig company. In fact, most of the dolls manufactured by Kammer and Reinhardt up until 1902 had the Simon & Halbig mark on their heads. In 1902, Kammer and Reinhardt purchased the Heinrich Handwork Doll Company, and in 1920, they acquired the Simon & Halbig Company as well. Made famous by their dolls' expressive faces, the Kammer & Reinhardt factory still stands in Germany today, with a slogan over its door that translates to, For children, only the best is good enough. Number 10. Masterpiece Rubik's Cube. 2.5 million dollars. A popular puzzle that hit the market in 1974, the Rubik's Cube of old can be purchased for a mere three dollars online. A cryptic and colorful puzzle that has kept both children and adults amused for hours, the Rubik's Cube is one of the world's most iconic toys. In fact, at least one in every seven people on the planet are familiar with this toy with many of those having solved it on occasion. If you consider yourself a die-hard aficionado and you have money to burn, forget the cheap version, get yourself the glitzy $2.5 million limited edition one instead. The costliest Rubik's Cube in the world was designed and crafted by expert diamond cutter Fred Culler to commemorate the cube's 15th anniversary. Each side of the 18 karat yellow gold cube is encrusted with precious gems, including amethysts, emeralds, 
emeralds and rubies and although fully functional it's doubtful with this price tag you'd be keen to have it out on display the masterpiece cube is said to have taken 8500 hours to produce and is recommended for display purposes only considered too precious to handle not surprising at all number nine Stife Louis Vuitton Teddy Bear, $2.1 million German teddy bear maker and seamstress Margaret Stife is known for overcoming serious health issues to become the manufacturer of the world's most sought-after handcrafted bears. The beloved plush toy company was founded by Stife back in 1880. While most Stife bears retailed for up to 200 US dollars, a special edition version made history in 2000 when it sold at auction in Monaco for a whopping 2.1 million US dollars. The bear was the result of a collaboration between Stife and luxury brand Louis Vuitton. Dressed in Louis Vuitton attire and accompanying luggage with a gold mouth and sapphire and diamond eyes, the bear was purchased by Jesse Kim of Korea. It's now on display at the Teddy Bear Museum in Jeju, Korea. Number 8. Shemansky Soccer Ball $2.59 million If you're looking at trading in your old soccer ball for a newer model, we might just have the deal for you. For just 2.59 million US dollars, you can score yourself the most expensive soccer ball ever made. Aside from the over-the-top price tag, there is one other catch. You won't be able to kick this ball around the park. It's far too delicate for that. Ideal for the bling-loving soccer fan, this unique diamond-studded ball is made up of 6,620 white and 2,640 black South African diamonds. Weighing slightly more than your average soccer ball, this beauty is 2.2 kilograms. Unlike its rubber counterparts, the sparkling soccer ball took more than three months to make. Designed by jewelry designer Yair Shemansky, the ball was unveiled in front of spectators, players, and viewers from across the world at the FIFA World Cup in 2010. Considered one of the most priceless souvenirs of the coveted tournament, the bespoke creation was replicated in crystal, with each auctioned off for local charities. A useless ornament, really, with most soccer fans preferring to spend less than $10 on a ball they can at least kick around a field. Number 7. The Bugatti Veyron Diamond Edition $2.93 million A fully operational 1 to 18 scale model of the high performance Bugatti Veyron is considered the most luxurious and expensive model car on the planet. The replica of the French automobile, named after racing car driver Pierre Veyron, was designed and manufactured by Robert Gulpen of Munich and Stuart Hughes of Liverpool. Bespoke luxury designers, the pair are both well respected in their individual fields. The solid 24 karat gold and platinum model is said to have 7.2 carats of single cut flawless diamonds included in its design, fully functional and operational parts, a certificate of authenticity, and an aluminum and glass case. Said to be a mammoth effort for both of its creators, the intricate scale model took two months to complete and weighs in at a solid 7 kilograms. And in a bizarre turn of events, the ornamental car costs 2.93 million US dollars to produce, whereas the drivable Veyron is just 1.7 million. No need to guess which option most would choose to spend their hard earned cash on. Certainly not the gold plated dust collector, that's for sure. Number 6 Original G.I. Joe Action Figure. $200,000. The world's first action hero figure, G.I. Joe invaded American households as the latest in little boys' toys back in 1964. The prototype, produced a year prior to its release, was auctioned off to the highest bidder in 2013, having emerged from what we can only assume was the undercover mission of 50 years. Dallas-based Heritage Comics Auction put the battle-weary G.I. Joe on the auction 
auction block with a starting bid of 125,000 US dollars. Standing 11 and a half inches high, the handmade action figure was purchased by book distributor Stephen Geppi, who was said to have been thrilled to acquire the one-of-a-kind prototype. Geppi won the auction, spending $200,000 on his new treasure, a cool $50,000 less than the minimum bid required at a San Diego auction the month prior. The comic book tycoon and collector, who admitted playing with a similar doll as a child, took home the miniature U.S. soldier and his various accessories, all handmade by G.I. Joe creator Don Levine. Experts described the foot-tall figure as the holy grail of toy collecting and the most valuable action figure ever sold. The little soldier is now residing in Gepi Museum in Maryland. Number 5. Gundam Fix Platinum Toy Robot $250,000 if you have a pocket full of money and are keen to spend it on something relatively useless, this 125 centimeter 1.4 kilogram toy robot might be worth a look. Priced at 250,000 US dollars, the toy robot is purely a promotional gimmick and destined for a life on the shelf. Why is this, you may ask? Well, aside from the ludicrous price tag, the robot is simply a replica of the commercially available version, but is made from 1,400 grams of platinum and has 0.15 carat diamonds for eyes. Not really the sort of toy you want little Johnny playing with each day, particularly if he tends to throw his toys out of the cot, so to speak. The Gundam figurine was exhibited at Basel World 2007 in Basel, Switzerland, and was the brainchild of toy maker Bondi, who suggested that well-known jewelers Jinza Tanaka help them out with a new project. The result was a useless robot designed to promote Jinza Tanaka's platinum jewelry business and create more exposure for Bondi's Gundam characters. Designed by Hajime Kachoki, an experienced Gundam model designer, the Gundam Fix Platinum Robot featured 89 parts and took two years to complete. So next time you question spending 40 bucks on a Transformers toy, remember this story about the $250,000 robot and count yourself lucky your child doesn't have expensive taste. Number 4. Madame Alexander Eloise five million dollars. She's a fashion icon from head to toe, a blue-eyed blonde child with a cute little smile, a chubby appearance, and an adorable dog to match. What's not to like? Well, the price tag for one. Certain to be the apple of any little girl's eye, the Madame Alexander Eloise doll can be purchased for a staggering five million U.S. dollars. And you thought Barbie was expensive. At $302,500, she was a bargain in comparison. Doll designer Madame Alexander created just five of these little darlings. With the limited edition doll wearing a combination of Christian Dyer and Oscar de la Renta, paired with Swarovski crystals and Catherine Ballman accessories. If you had five million bucks at your disposal, would you spend it on an Eloise doll? Your child might thank you for it, but it's doubtful your bank manager would. Number 3. Louis Allaire, $6.25 million. Standing four feet tall and dressed in Renaissance garb from top to toe, this magnificent porcelain doll was created by French-born Christian Bailey in his Swiss workshop. Although a fabulous example of late 18th, early 19th century design, Louis Allaire, the bird trainer, won't be found on a shelf at Toys R Us anytime soon. In fact, this doll very rarely leaves Bailey's workshop. 12 craftsmen spent a total of 15,000 hours creating the elaborate device that brings Louis Allaire to life with the turn of a key. With an original budget of $400,000, construction soon surpassed that, reaching into the millions with precious materials, dressmakers, sculptors, jewelers, wig makers, and other specialists all lending a hand to complete the masterpiece. To raise the money needed to complete the project, Bailey is said to have sold more than a hundred of the 19th century automation devices he had collected over the years. Only the finest materials were utilized, and expert craftsmen invited to help with the project, with the work completed in the painstaking tradition of the 18th century doll creators who had come before them. Once wound up, the doll plays a flute with its fingers dancing along the instrument and eyes moving back and forth. Birds perched on both its shoulder and hand are also seen to sing along. 
Moved just once from its creator's workshop, the Bird Trainer was exhibited at the Basel World Watch and Jewelry Show in May 2005 and is now said to be on the market, with Bailey open to offers around $6,250,000 US dollars for the one-of-a-kind collectible. Relying on its polished steel parts to make it move, one bonus for the new owner will be the savings in batteries. That's something at least. Number 2. Swarovski Zebra Riding Horse $166,670, including VAT. The rocking horse in any shape or form has been a popular addition to many children's playrooms the whole world over, but this Fernandez Exquisite Creations example takes things to a whole new level. In fact, if you're trying to make up your mind between this rocker and a thoroughbred racehorse, the racehorse might prove to be the more lucrative option. A collaboration with dancers Nuno and Rebecca Fernandez and British rocking horse manufacturer Stevenson Brothers, the Swarovski Zebra Rocking Horse is like the one gifted to Prince George at Christmas in 2014, but with a little more sparkle. Actually, a lot more sparkle. This rocking horse cum zebra is encrusted with more than 82,000 Swarovski crystals, and at a cost of 1.28 million US dollars, is far beyond the budget of most doting parents. With a secret lockable compartment in its belly, a solid oak stand, customized tack, and real horsehair, this dapple gray pony called Crystal was only one of two made, with the second featured in a documentary showcasing the world's most luxurious toys. Weighing in at around 36 kilograms, this expensive, handmade rocking horse is probably right up there with the Gundam robot as far as practicality goes, so a slightly more inexpensive option is probably best. Number 1. Jonah and the Whale $414,000 if you're in the market for a unique money box that's likely to have your child fleeing from the room rather than depositing any coins within, then this Jonah and the Whale mechanized money bank is well worth considering. Popular among toy collectors, these money banks can achieve phenomenally high prices come auction day. The ghastly Jonah and the Whale money bank, depicting Jonah being swallowed by the whale, was snapped up for a staggering 414,000 US dollars when it went to auction. Considered to be among the rarest examples in existence, the money bank was put up for auction at Morphe Auctions in 2007 and set an all-time record for a mechanical bank sale, proving its enduring popularity. Designed by well-known U.S. maker J.N.E. Stevens in the late 1800s, it was one of the most sought-after banks on the market, a fact that's hard to ignore given the sale price. The piece was presented in excellent condition, with predominantly original paintwork and just a small repair evident on the central yoke. If you ever find yourself in possession of a cool million dollars or more, take some time to consider your options. Don't go spending it on the first million dollar toy you see. Your children may not even thank you, especially if it can't be played with. Useless dust collector or collector's item, the choice is entirely yours. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.